Hey everyone, Nabil6901 here, and welcome to a brand new haul video. I haven't done a haul video in probably like two years. Usually I like to post all the stuff that I purchase um, on my Facebook page. Uh, so make sure to follow me on Facebook and my Twitter pages, but I'm not really active on Twitter. I'm mostly active on Facebook. Uh, but I finally wanted to go ahead and get back into the old things and do haul videos and things like that. So I'm going to show you guys what I've gotten in the past week and a half at either local retailer stores or my collector's uh, shop which is called Acme Superstore here in Florida so let's get to my stuff alright so today I was able to get a couple of things from Acme Superstore my collector store and I first got uh, on my right here the uh, Marvel Legends Infinite Series Captain America the Winter Soldier Black Widow figure uh, I already have two of her, this is my third one, but I have one that's kept carded, the other one that's actually like this with the long hair, but uh, this one I got because I got it for dirt cheap, mainly because she's missing all of her accessories that the figure comes with, and I guess the guy that owned this was a customizer, so he took off her gauntlets, and the Black Widow logo, which sucks, um, but for $10 I said why not, I can have her displayed. Uh, with the Avengers, with the alternate head that I have, and you know, and just pop this head off and put on the Avengers head, and uh, voila. So, I got it for a pretty good deal. Next up, I got the Marvel Select Iron Man 2 War Machine figure. This is one Marvel Select figure I've been wanting for a little while now, and uh, I wasn't willing to pay what a lot of sellers on eBay and Amazon are asking for, because it goes for, I don't know, 50 to to $100 carded. Um, or loose, and I usually open all my Marvel selects. I don't like to keep any single one of them in the package. So I was able to get him for a really good deal. And uh, thankfully I didn't have to waste any money from my pocket. I was able to get everything off store credit. So um, I only bought uh, some of the loose figures I'm about to show you right now, Star Wars related. But that's all Marvel stuff. Uh, Star Wars related, at that same store I was able to get the 30th anniversary Maris Brood figure. Um, I have her carded, but I wanted her loose, and uh, so I have her loose, along with her Master Shock T, part of the Legacy Collection line, um, and I was able to get uh, her for a good deal too, loose and complete, so I'm really happy with that. Next here I have the 30th Anniversary Juno Eclipse. I think she's missing her hat, but uh, it's no big deal, I don't really care about it, um, but I didn't have the character, so I got her. I also was able to find in the stash of stuff that I found the Vintage Collection Starkiller figure, which goes for an arm and a leg, but of course is being repacked in the Black Series three and three quarter inch line, and it'll be it should be released later on this year. Uh, of course, you see him like with the lightning and everything. A customizer did that, gave him a hand that uh, throws lightning, which I think was pretty cool. And the figure is complete, and I think the comma here instead of soft goods, it's supposed to be plastic. I guess the guy changed it out and whatever, but it's no big deal. He has both of his lightsabers. He's missing his lightsaber hilts, but I don't really care. I already have one. This is just the second one, so I could display him with the armor that he has on now. And the Juno Eclipse is from the Toys R Us battle packs that they released. Um, two of them, I think in 09, or no, excuse me, 2010. And she was part of one of those battle packs, so there's two different Junos. Then, of course, I got the Star Wars Visionary set, but loose. Uh, at that same place. Really, really happy to add these two. I love Darth Maul like this, and the fact that I was able to get both Owen and Darth Maul fully complete, except for um, Owen's gun. That's a droid gun, because they didn't actually have his actual gun, which is no big deal. But uh, I was able to get them both, so that's really cool. And I got an extra vintage collection uh, Darth Sidious. All of these loose figures, I was able to get them for just $12. So I got them for a steal. I mean, it's 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 so cool. I'm really happy with it. Of course, now I got these guys throughout the week. I got Kanan about almost two weeks now. Two weeks ago at Walmart for $19.99. They're starting to hit uh, retailers slowly but surely. If you go to my Facebook account, um, I posted a picture of the, the whole wave, actually. My Toys R Us just stocked up on all of these 20-inch figures. And they had all of them available except for um let's see they had the they had the rebels figures and they had the live action movie figures the only ones i didn't see was han 
but I saw Chewbacca, the Biker Scout, Kanan, Ezra, and the Rebels uh, TIE Fighter pilot. So these are pretty cool figures, and I'll have a review on that soon. On the Wolfpack Podcast, I reviewed this figure, so if you guys haven't seen that review, make sure to go to the Wolfpack Podcast's YouTube channel, and uh, we have all our reviews there of the 20-inch figures and these new Black Series figures, actually. I was able to find the Stormtrooper just yesterday at my local Walmart, thankfully, and finally I was able to get them. Uh, really glad I did. I was able to make it on time. And then, of course, these new um, figures that are only appearing at Walgreens as of right now with the prototype Boba Fett and all that stuff. So I was able to get a Darth Vader and a Luke Skywalker um, three days ago. Two days ago, excuse me. So... I've been very fortunate um, to get all of these figures and finding them and you know hopefully retailers get uh, better at it really really soon so this pretty much wraps up my haul I hope you guys have enjoyed it um, if you have any questions or comments or whatnot just comment down below please just give this video a nice thumbs up and uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't I'll be reviewing all of these very very soon I have reviewed Vintage Collection Star Killer. I have reviewed the Black Widow, so if you guys haven't seen those reviews, go ahead and go to my actual channel page and search them, and you'll find the reviews there. Alright guys, so thanks again for watching, and until next time, may the Force be with you.